because she's so short. Do, do, yeah, do I you mean... want me to chime in on this? <laughs> Fire uh, away. Yes, because you are the Kirby boy. Yeah, I mean, Kirby can low profile a lot of stuff that ZSS has. And mind you, a lot of the stuff I'm going to be referencing is just experience versus her in Smash 4. Uh, but yeah, Kirby can low profile a lot of stuff that she can do. The issue is, is that because she's so incredibly mobile, uh, if she's aware that she's just more able to get away from Kirby, it can be a real upward battle uh, uh, for him to gain a lead if he's lost one, but, yeah, but if he gets the hit, he can do some ser he can do some good damage, some good damage. All right, take it away. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, just to build off of that low profiling, you notice that he goes for the down tilt a lot because a it throws out a nice, solid, pretty safe hitbox, and b it automatically low profiles him. So some of ZSS's rising aerials, for instance. Are probably just gonna whiff if he's just hitting the down tilt button. It's a both defensive and offensive tool. Yeah, it, I kind of appreciate the way that Kirby's have uh, been what? playing. Uh, just a final cutter mid stage. <laughs> sometimes it works. When it does, when it works, it works. I guess. But if he the... does it and it works twice, then every time it works. That's how that works. It, it, every time it works. Forty percent of the time it works every time. <laughs> okay, he was really. He was trying to snipe the flip jump, and I appreciate the attempt, but Web Web knows how to mix up timings, and you really kind of have to if you're a ZSS player. So, good stuff on there from Web's part. And now we see Vinalik without a lead. Maybe we uh, will see him start to lose some of this ground game as he swings his killing aerials, looking for more back airs. It works every time. It works every time. Even if the second hit don't connect and he actually gets punished for it, but um, yeah, he's trying. He's trying. He's trying to hunt out the flip jumps, and I'm waiting for Web to say, "Oh, okay, I'm just not gonna, not gonna do it." <laughs> I mean, flip kick is already such a hard move to punish, and then there's also the ultimate mix-up that ZSS doesn't even have to do it. Yeah, it's the <laughs> when you counterplay a single move or a single option so much and the character can just say okay well then i won't i won't I use feed i won't feed into four. it yeah i use my other four recovery tools <laughs> yeah hey it's okay now one one other thing that we're seeing here uh is that so web is starting to take advantage of the fact that although zss can sometimes have trouble hitting kirby her limbs vastly outrange his you know she has actual legs not little stubby weird toes <laughs> okay finally he manages to close out the stock but there is a clean stock advantage for web at this point and we've already seen that once he no longer has the lead it is a real struggle just the mobility of zss and the fact that when kirby is based is really trying to get the kill he becomes a lot more linear a lot more predictable because kind of has so few kill options from neutral yeah at these early percents we'll really see vine like a, start to make a lot of headway because when it comes to sheer ground game kirby's is really good i mean you mentioned down tilt earlier but f tilt is ridiculously fast uh up tilt combos into itself and then combos into some of kirby's more powerful aerials uh his jab is i think frame two like kirby's a really solid ground game and like got some really good killing tools on the floor but as long as Webb says, okay, I know I have a lead and I can just wait for you to jump and approach with something like forward air or approach with something like back air, then I can play this game all day. We've got three minutes to spend and I'm willing to spend them. Not only that, but those tools of Kirby that you mentioned, none of them really lead to a kill. Like right now at 120%, down tilt, F tilt, up tilt, without like, even F tilt without good stage positioning, it's not gonna be doing much. Jesus is a light character and yet, Webb is absolutely weathering these hits right now. Ooh. I'm surprised we haven't seen a grab yet in, or we didn't see a grab right there given ZSS Pratt rather light and Kirby, while not having the, the most killing of kill throws, it's still something that you need to feed into the mind of the opponent. But Vinalik is floating back to ledge, Webb taking his time and gets caught. We saw that side B to, because it has such a massive hitbox. And uh, especially when Kirby likes to be jumping from the ledge and all, you know, those sorts of options given as multiple jumps. Uh, it's just a very effective move to just throw out to, you know, go for a ledge trap with it.
Yeah, walk back. One step now. To the left. <laughs> oh, I didn't even really... Yeah, he actually B-reversed it. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, there was actually some really cool cheeky movement going on with that. Uh, Catching the landing. And, it, I mean, that is another thing that... ZSS might actually... Without that side B, she might kind of struggle to catch Kirby's landings. You know? Because Kirby can sort of just jump away. And although she's very fast, you know... If Kirby sees her coming, he can always just jump again. But with that side, cover so much effective range so quickly that that's been a very reliable way for uh, Web to the catch vinyl on the on the on the downfall. Yeah, Kirby's floatiness will always kind of Kirby's floaty airspeed is always going to be the downfall of the characters. We do see the switch to Corrin, the other character that he's been. He's been playing, and I mean, I can understand it. Like, you're, you're playing Big Sword Woman as opposed to Z ZSS. Despite winning that game, Corrin can play this matchup a little bit more ignorantly, to put it <laughs> bluntly. <laughs> yeah, like, for instance, that down tilt counterplay we were talking about with Kirby, not going to be nearly as useful in this matchup when, uh, you know, Insta Pin, I mean, that move is aimed at the ground. Yeah. Uh, Corrin just has so many tools to hit low more Ooh. consistently and a little bit better of raw kill power in her juggling game. So Also raw know. kill power in terms of the massive demon that she has in her arm. Yeah. That that neutral be killed at what was that? Like 80% before the hit? I think it was before. I think it was uh, even earlier. Jeez. But and he's going for it again. But here we see Vinyl X and He's trying his best out here. He's really oh, hunting her down. Works every time. <laughs> <laughs> every every time. Every time. You can't anything, counterplay. It. He didn't win game one because he just he didn't do it all the time. It's been proven to work every single time. So why wouldn't you just spam it? Yeah, of course. That's just statistics. We are Ooh, online. Great time. tech. And the drift right there to actually avoid the down hit on the um on the Kirby uppy. Man, it's such a. Sh it's. He was put him in a tech situation, yet still couldn't capitalize, because the tech roll was just too quick, and the snipe, or the snatch, on the final cutter. Vinox has been put in quite a hole yet again. As a web seems seems to be kind of the perfect counterplay to whatever Vinox has been trying to do, and not yeah. uh, not getting a lead early has stuffed out all of the counterplay that Kirby can do in a lot of the matchups. All right, really good job there catching the shield drop and landing a back air. But, you know, uh, like, Webb had the chance to keep going ZSS. I mean, he won game one, but just looking at the way he's been playing this matchup since switching to Korra, I think was absolutely the correct play. Um, works every time. Works and, every uh, time. <laughs> works every time. Uh, and as we're seeing right now, yes, 63% on his last stock. And it doesn't even feel like Vinyl has yet to figure out exactly what he needs to do in order to beat this Corrin. Yeah, it's, Webb is kind of, when he wants to play Corrin, he's been walking all over him. And I don't know if he's just been going for sauce or sometimes, but a lot of the damage windows is, is looks like Webb purposefully overextending. But hey, you gotta take advantage of those if you're vinyl, because like, you're not gonna get many opportunities to do so. Your punish game has to be on point as he ducks under the back air. One more. Oh, and uh, no, up air out. is now becoming a kill threat, it looks like. Or, you know, just the back air. Or any of the seven moves that Corrin has at her disposal when she wants to be killing. So that is gonna be the second set of the day. Gonna be going to web 2-0. Uh game one, very, very close. Up. Uh, game two will kind of more on the dominant side, showing why in this game, having multiple characters under your belt can be a really useful just advantage. The fact that you're like, I don't feel very comfortable in this matchup. Even if I won, I don't feel comfortable, so I'm not going to play it. Yeah, I mean, why play a matchup that you know will be a little bit more tedious, a little bit more uh, like hard <laughs> when you can switch to one of the many Fire Emblem characters and say, oh... Like, I have big sword aerials, and it's up to you to counterplay them. Have you not ever seen a child to try to fight against someone with a sword? What do you it's think hard. was going to happen? <laughs>